These young innovators are taking their destiny into their own hands with the manufacture of an electric vehicle, the first of its kind in Sukhothai State. <laughs> One after the other, the inventors explain the process, components and significance of the electric vehicle, describing it as strong, reliable and environmentally friendly. Instead of us using having two pedals of the brake, we try to see how we can make one pedal that will help stop the two tires moving behind. So we used a tube, what is in metal form, we used it to actually help when we step on the brake pedal, the two tires at the back stop moving. This also gives the opportunity for the youth to provide employment for them. And also, the creation of the ozone layer. The third vehicles bring out smoke when being driven. So this proves that this project of ours reduces the risk of the creation of the ozone layer. It has five batteries which have 12 volts each. With the help of the charger, this vehicle can charge about four can can charge about four to three hours, which can also last six to seven hours. Their invention attracts the attention of a Sokoto based educationist who stresses the need for stakeholders in Nigeria's education sector to prioritize functional and practical learning that addresses real world problems. The paying lip service to the problems that we face as people in Africa. We feel that this kind of project is beyond the graduation project. It's actually telling a story of hope. It's actually instilling in the mindset of Africans that if we get our acts right, we can actually do what we have to do to, to build for ourselves, to live for ourselves, and to also solve our own problems. The project, which has sparked excitement among students and educators alike, is seen as a model for what Nigerian students can achieve when given the right tools and environment to innovate.